So we started <coughs> last week talking about the four main parts of a camera, right? We talked about a, fan, a camera consists of four basic components. And it actually doesn't matter what type of camera it is. Because we also talked about the fact that there are four basic types of cameras. Can anyone help me remember what those four basic types of cameras are? Yes, Kate. Um, SLR. The SLR. Um, TLR. TLR. A range finder. Range finder. And a view camera. And a view camera. And to help us remember what those stand for, SLR stands for single lens reflex. TLR stands for twin lens reflex. We have the range finder camera and the view camera. I actually brought in a couple of those here so you can see them. We know what an SLR camera is, single lens reflex camera, and that's the camera that we're going to be using this semester. Right? This is a Nikon SLR. This is the single lens reflex camera. This is the one used for police photography in general. When we use on scene, we still use it in the crime lab. Uh, the TLR is a twin lens reflex camera. And it's a great camera, but do we use it anymore in police photography? No. In fact, we never really even did use it for police photography. But what sort of photographic uh, situations was the TLR camera used for? Yeah, used for portraits. Uh, wedding photographers. In fact, when I got married 21 years ago, uh, my wedding was photographed using a TLR camera. And that camera, unlike an SLR camera, like this one, where I hold it up to my face and look through it, remember a TLR camera is like a box camera. You'd hold it down here, right here in front of your chest, and you'd look down on top of it. It'd have two lenses. That's why it's a twin lens reflex camera. All right. This is a great example of a view camera. A view camera. A view camera is one in which I would actually look through the camera. All right. These are still used occasionally, not on scene, but we do use these sometimes in the crime lab. Typically, we have them mounted on a photo stand. We'd have it mounted vertically. And then we might have a firearm or a fingerprint on an object that we take a photo of. So these are phenomenal cameras. Actually, of the four camera types, these actually take the highest resolution photos. Right. Uh, this is an example of a, a very old rangefinder camera. Remember, rangefinder cameras are your basic point-and-shoot cameras, the cameras that you might take on vacation. Remember, the, the, the camera that's built into your cell phone is an example of a range finder camera. So there's four camera types, right? SLR, TLR, view camera, and range finder, of which the kind we use in police photography is the SLR camera. Now, why do you think that the SLR camera is the one we use most often? Why is it better than the view camera for crime scene photography? Remember, the view camera actually produces better images. So why is the SLR camera, this one, why is this better for police photography than this view camera here? What do you think? It's more compact and it's easier to use because you have more choices you have for sight. Yeah, so we have to kind of balance out the pros and cons. All right? When, when you're talking about the SLR camera, it is certainly smaller, it is more compact. Um, one of the main disadvantages of the view camera is it uses what we call sheet film. So when I use this camera, I would slide in one piece of film, snap my photo, take that film out, and then to take another picture, I'd have to put another sheet of film in there, take a photo, take that out. So the process of photography, it takes long. Whereas with an SLR camera, even if I'm using a film SLR camera, because they're normally loaded with film that comes on rolls, right? So this is an example of roll film, 35 millimeter roll film, right? So I would load this roll of film into my camera. And I would take my photo, right? And so I could snap a photo, advance the roll, snap a photo, advance the roll, snap a photo, advance the roll, right? So we have rolls of film, right? One of the major advantages of an SLR camera is the fact that there's a lot of interchangeability in terms of I can change out lenses, it's easy to attach filters, I can use different flashes. 
That's one of the major advantages of the SLR camera, is if I don't like the size of this lens, I can take this lens off. I can grab another lens and attach it. If I want to add filters, they're easier to attach, flashes easier to 